Hello and welcome to a detailed instruction on a screen replacement for a Lenovo ThinkPad T480. I don't recommend closing your laptop with a USB stick anywhere near the trim or on the keyboard. Uh, as you could see that caused a lot of damage in the bottom left hand side of my screen. Um, the laptop was working completely. Uh, I was able to log in. The screen was a little bit better, but over time it kind of got worse. Uh, so this is going to be a breakdown of me repairing the screen uh, that I purchased a brand new one from uh, LaptopScreen.com and I'll be going over that process right now. So at the beginning you'll see uh, the damage uh, on the laptop as I turn it on. Uh, everything else on the laptop works but basically what you're going to do is uh, power it off uh, as a first precaution. You want to make sure you power off the laptop. You're going to be disconnecting the actual screen from the board. Um, so you just want to make sure it's completely off. Once the laptop is completely off, you're going to want to remove the battery completely. Um, some of these laptops have an onboard battery. Uh, this one didn't seem to have it. I was able to test that by removing the battery like you see here and then trying to turn the laptop on. Once you try to turn that laptop on, as long as you don't get any lights, uh, then you know you're good to go and you could start working. As you can see, the laptop is not on once the battery has been removed. With the next step, uh, we're going to have to remove the front part of the screen. Uh, so that's a really thin piece of plastic just all the way around the screen. It's kind of clipped in. Um, you could definitely use a spudger or a credit card, uh, but you want to do use something soft and plastic. Uh, there's a screwdriver, a little Phillips head. We're going to need to remove four screws later, but we're going to use the spudger to kind of peel away the screen. Um, as you can see, I'm just slowly peeling away. Um, this might be a little bit harder, as mine wasn't that bad. Uh, you might have to kind of pull on it a little bit. It's very flimsy plastic, so be careful. Uh, in the end, you don't really have to worry about damaging the screen since it's already broken, but you do want to try to be gentle with that plastic part. There are going to be clips uh, pretty much all the way around the screen. Um, so you're going to want to unclip it and then remove this piece uh, to expose uh, underneath, which is the actual screen itself. So that piece you're going to put away. There's going to be sticky stuff around it. You kind of want to make sure you don't lose that. Uh, you might use it later. Some people put new sticky stuff on it, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to use the Phillips head screwdriver here. And there's four screws, as you could see here. Uh, two at the top and two at the bottom and you're just going to unscrew here and uh, make sure uh, you keep these screws and they don't fall anywhere they are pretty small but they are very easy to remove and uh, as long as you put them aside you remove the four screws and you're almost going to be ready to go to remove this screen So as you can see, I have one screw left to remove. And once I'm done here, we're going to be ready to disconnect the screen. Um, you are very close to being finished removing the screen. It's a very easy process with these ThinkPad T480s. So you're going to pop that screen out. Uh, again, we're not too worried about this screen because it's kind of broken anyways. But there's an attachment cable right at the bottom of that screen. So you don't want to pull it out you don't want to rip out that cable as you can see it's very short so you want to flip the screen down and then with a spudger or something soft and plastic you're gonna move up this little uh, almost like uh, handle you're gonna flip it up and then you're gonna push it back t out t uh, away from you to remove uh, that cable that cable is done and now we could get rid of that screen This is going to be done pretty much in the reverse order now, and we're almost done. So this is my new screen from LaptopScreen.com. Um, it was a good price, and I got very fast shipping, so I was really happy about getting this. 
I'm going to reconnect that cable to the screen. You want to make sure the connector is the same. You should probably do that before you buy the screen. But you slide that connector cable back in, and then you're going to flip down that little handle um, over to the side. Uh, sorry, got a little blurry there because of my head, but you get the gist. It's basically the reverse order of removing it. So now that it's connected well, we're going to make sure the cable is lodged in there properly. And then we're going to slowly flip the screen. We want to try to be more gentle now. This screen is working and good, so uh, I'm, not, I'm a little bit more worried about damaging it. Maybe uh, it would have been better to lay down a piece of uh, non-static fabric or, or something like that, uh, or some foam uh, on the keyboard when you put the screen down, but we don't have to do that here. I'm going to line up the screen with the four screws. Um, you could just kind of plop it in there and it kind of sits there you could really uh, put the screen back and we're going to just screw in those screws back again I'm using a small Phillips head you'll have to kind of find what size you need um, basically we're just going to screw it back in here got a nice shot of my receding hairline that's okay And we're very close to being done finishing this repair. So now we have the screen in place. I'm just going to give it a nice little tighten on the screws. You don't want to over tighten them. You don't want to strip them, but you want to make sure they're not, uh, you know, slowly falling out and now that we have the screen back on before we do anything else we want to make sure and test that the screen works so we're going to close the laptop down we're going to put the battery back in and now that that battery is in place we can flip it around turn on the machine and just see how our screen looks Perfect. So our screen works. Everything looks good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. You could boot all the way into Windows just to be sure, but I was pretty satisfied. So now we got to still uh, turn the, the monitor off by shutting down the machine. And now we're going to peel the, the tape, which is probably the best part. Yeah, we hear some audio pour in there. So now we're going to attach that screen, uh, kind of plastic casing. I start from the bottom because there's clips on the bottom, and then I'm going to just slowly clip up. You'll hear me slowly clipping up, and I'm just going to um, you know, take my time and slowly clip them in. You'll see from the top. They just clip in really easily. There are some clips at the bottom. You might have to close the lid and flip it like I did and just kind of try to make sure you put some pressure there um, so that it clips at the bottom. It's really hard to get in there with your hands. I was kind of able to, uh, I would try to be more gentle than me here, but uh, everything was. Uh, was fine. Now we're going to give it a last touch, uh, try to see if any of those last little bit of sticky bits stick to the screen that we had to peel off earlier. And now the screen looks back on and we're going to give it another test. Excellent. Screen's working. I really enjoyed it. I almost think it looks better than the screen that was uh, OEM with that laptop. Uh, so thanks laptopscreen.com and I was very happy with the repair and that was a repair a screen replacement on a Lenovo T480 thanks for watching